In section 2.4, we're going to keep evaluating trig functions, but this time we're going to have to use the sum and difference formulas. So I've got them written down here. They're also on page 244, which is section 2.4 in the book. If you want to go uh, look there and copy them in your notes, that'd be great. I would never expect you to memorize these. Even if you were in the seated class, we would totally use a reference sheet for this because it is not used very often. Uh, however, I think it's important because in math analysis, you'll do a lot of manipulating of equations, so I think this is really good practice. We're going to start with the first problem, and I'll see here if I can get this set up. So we are going to evaluate cosine of 70 degrees. Now, if you notice, cosine of 70 degrees, if you look at your unit circle, it's not on your unit circle. 70 degrees would be somewhere kind of like right in there. Not on the unit circle, but we know that cosine is going to be somewhere a little bit after zero. So it's not going to be a very big number. So I want to try to use the sum and difference formula. So since 70 is not on the unit circle, I'm going to change 70. Oops, sorry, I meant to make this a 75. I'm going to change 75 into two numbers that are on the unit circle. I'm going to change cosine of 75 degrees to be cosine of 30 plus 45, because 30 plus 45 is 70. So now I have the cosine of two things put together. Now, this is not distribute. You can't distribute here. You have to use the formula. So I'm going to go up and use cosine of two numbers added together. And that formula says take the cosine of the first number times the cosine of the second number, subtract sine of the first number times sine of the second number. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to follow that formula. So I'm going to have cosine of the first number, and my first number is 30, times cosine of the second number, and my second number is 45, subtract sine of the first number times sine of the second number. So this is doable because 30 and 45 are both on the unit circle. The cosine at 30 is square root of 3 over 2. You can find that by using your unit circle. Cosine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Subtract sine of 30, which is 1 half, times sine of 45, which is square root of 2 over 2. So here, when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. So I get square root of 6 over 4. Notice when you're uh, multiplying radicals, you can multiply those two numbers together. Subtract square root of 2 over 4. Now we're subtracting. You cannot subtract if this number is different. So my answer is going to be square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 4. I'm going to go ahead and punch that into the calculator just to kind of see what we've got here. We said this number should be a little bit bigger than zero. Let's see if it is. Square root six, subtract square root two, and then I want to divide that by four. I get approximately, oh, I divided by one. Let me go back and do that again. Let's divide by four. I get 0.25. That is a number a little bit bigger than 1. We're actually just going to leave our answers with radicals in them, so I'll leave it just like that. But you can see how at 70 degrees, you would not go over uh, very far in the x direction. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do sine. Oh, let me make one up here. Let's do sine of, let's do one we already know. Let's do sine of 90. That's one we know, but let's use the sum formula to show how the sum formula works. I know that sine at 90 is 1. So whatever I do for my sine formula, it better end up as 1. So I'm going to use the sine sum formula. So I'm going to change sine of 90 into sine of 45 plus 45. I can change any number into two numbers that 
are on the unicircle. So here I'm going to use the sum formula for sine, which is sine of the first number, cosine of the second number, plus cosine of the first number, times sine of the second number. So let's see what happens here when I work this out. Sine at 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine at 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Add cosine of 45 square root of 2 over 2. And sine of 45 square root of 2 over 2. So this would be square root 4 over 4 plus square root 4 over 4. And we know that the square root of 4 is 2. So I have 2 fourths plus 2 fourths, which is 4 fourths, which is 1. So you can see how we already knew that because this one was on the unit circle. But knowing it on the unit circle and using the sum formula for sine, we actually get the same answer.